This is Christopher from your Sony Xperia fan channel and today we're talking about launchers. As you can see with the standard uh, Sony launcher, uh, the Xperia one seems to be a bit lacking I'm afraid um, due to Sony and their infinite wisdom uh, locking down the ma main things like page transitions, icon size, you know the stuff that we enjoyed on the Xperia 3 and the XZ Premium. So uh, essentially as you can see long press on this on the screen we just get our wallpapers we get our widgets basic home settings and that's it nothing else and if you want to change anything you would have to go into settings scroll down into system then click advanced and then click on developer options scroll right down to the bottom and icon shape and that's it it's pretty uh, disgusting really you know um, we want more control on that so the first launcher I'm going to advise about is the uh, the Poco uh, F1 launcher so basically what we need to do is go back and we go to uh, the uh, the Google Play Store we type Poco Launcher 2.0 or you can just type Poco now as you can see there's a few of them there's Poco Launcher 2.0 uh, 2 an F2 point la uh, launcher I don't know if there's any um, difference between them, but we'll do it anyway. So, like, Poco Launcher, okay, install. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got the Poco Launcher. Just checking if we're still recording. Good. Right, so we've got the Poco Launcher. The next thing we need to do is check and set the actual uh, the home launcher so we'll go back out of there and go back to settings type home in search would have spelled that right and click on default home app and here we have a choice between Xperia home as you can see I've installed Nova launcher before but I don't like Nova launcher at all it's, it's great for customization but it's too in depth just for playing about with so but I will do that on a future review I'll check on Nova Launcher a bit more and see what we can do so anyway we click on Poco Launcher as you can see now this is where your chance to actually set your recommended wallpaper for me I just uh, set the current one and click apply Accept your terms and conditions, blah blah blah. And here we are now have the Poco launcher. Ignore the rocket thing on the back, it's like snake oil, it's trying to optimize your memory, which is rubbish because, you, as we know, one thing that Sony do is superior RAM management, far better than Samsung, you know. And so, um, we like to go across and you see Poco settings. Click on Poco settings. Now, what I like to do is I put the background on everything to black because on the um, on OLED screens, when you turn it to black, the pixels are turned off, therefore saving your battery. The next thing you want to do is your icon pack system. Obviously you can see I've installed a load of icon packs already pre-installed. So essentially here's one. I'll just click now. You see gives you a preview on what to expect. Okay, so I like this one. And click apply. As you can see, it's changed now. Now have you noticed there's two parts to this? Normally where the pill icon is, you swipe up and it gets your icons. This one, this time, it only 
um, looks after recent apps and it allows you to select and close them. For this one, there's a shot. There's a small arrowhead um, about two centimeters above it, just right here. Do that again and move up. Okay. Right, so now we can, we've got various icons and the uh, applications, etc. Have you noticed now we've got a, um, a convenient uh, way of storing your um, uh, applications, etc. into various um, categories. So for example, I want to go into uh, games. Now I do have the Elder Scrolls Blades installed as well, so let's do that. So single press, and then you scroll down to the application you want, in this case Blades, click apply, and, and you tick, and as you can see your Blades is there. You can, uh, now the good thing is, you don't have to go back to the home screen and settings again. You can go here. Now you can go into your, the next section is customized layout. Now for here, we've got five. I like it at four, and I like my like, icons large. So I click apply. And as you can see, You now need to have access to your phone section. So click allow. Okay. Boco launcher. Allow. Okay. So now if we go back. Back. Go back to settings. The next section we want to go is manage app categories. You can make um, your own categories here or, or delete ones. I don't delete that. I, I delete that because I don't need don't need it. Shopping, I don't do much shopping on my phone for security reasons. So these are the ones I own uh, the, these are the only ones that I need at this moment in time. App draw style. Your scroll bar, original layout, or you can use an A to Z theme. Have a look at this. If we go back to the app application section, as you notice on the right hand side, you've got A to Z. It's pretty small, and I haven't worked out how to actually increase that size yet, but I will do. Okay. So if we go back to here, Poco settings, you can choose what notification, uh, what your, your notification badges look like. Double tap to lock the screen. Now the good thing is, you can actually organize uh, applications by color which is quite interesting so that's about it really on this one and the good thing about the Poco settings you can go back to system settings whenever you want and what I do is just a matter of course to help things a little bit if you go to system go to display right I use default display size font size large Okay, and uh, that's it really. Uh, one last thing, if we go back to the home screen. Now there's a couple of other things that are quite interesting. I do apologise, I nearly missed this out. If we, if we long press on the screen now, if we can get it to long press. So we... we there we go. There we go. We've got it now. You fairly faintly see settings, etc. Click on settings. 
transition effects. It's got those transition effects back that song in their infinite wisdom have locked down. So we can see crossfade, which is normal. Turntable, turnable, as you can see. And then we have page. I rather like the page one. Reminds me of a book. Right, so here we go. So we go back to settings again. Just trying to find the active part. Don't seem to want that. But you get the general idea. So if you're long press, you'll get into settings. The actual transition effects that Sony locks down. And it's usually by our long press. Okay. So now, and the last thing is i um, just like to mention my screen background for the artsy fartsy types this is from the um the gothic metal group paradise lost and it's from the album draconian times and that's it for this uh this channel uh, i'll be sending the i'll be uh posting another review shortly have you noticed all my reviews are honest and because they're totally unscripted and unedited and as such, they are totally honest and uh, really shows what Sony phones can do. So, I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye now.